So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're okay. like eight foot. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they, look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes, okay. like, like I can't explain it. And big eye mouth. They're shiny eyes and, and they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. Ten foot tall aliens crashed their UFO in, Las, in a Las Vegas yard at midnight on April 30th of this year. The caller, his brother, and father were doing mechanical work in their backyard when the alien craft crashed a few feet away from them. The caller was so close that he felt a concussion of air from the crash, and then he could hear the alien breathing heavily. Moments later, they also heard the patter of footsteps on the roof of their home. There are marks in their yard where the craft crashed and then quickly vanished before the police arrived 38 minutes later. Police body cameras captured a bright fireball streaking through the atmosphere at this time. Also, a ring camera in the area captured a loud boom at the time of the crash. What are the intentions of these aliens? Do the aliens plan to come out into the open soon? And it is said that there are several types of aliens currently living and on our planet or around our planet and watch it. Uh, let's see what the cards want to reveal. Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling the Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. So we're going to do something a little different this morning. Uh, there was a UFO crash as I in, in Las Vegas, in someone's backyard, like feet away from them. And, you know, they're fa they're famous in Vegas for having Area 51 and all kinds of UFO sightings. I did live in Vegas for a couple of uh, uh, months uh, after my retirement. Uh, I did see a lot of alien life forms, but I think they were all human. Uh, there's some really weird people out there, especially out the Boulder Highway in Old Vegas, uh, and that's where I was staying, uh, back by just like half a mile from Old Vegas. So, uh, let's take a look. What are the intentions of these aliens that were seen, 10 feet tall, uh, slim, long legs, Big eyes. Okay, I think these are typically what's called the greys. There's also the Nordics, who look very much like us. Very tall, blonde, with blue eyes. But they're just unusually tall. Uh, and then there's the little ones. You know, like the ETs from Spielberg, that guy. Uh, so, what are the intentions of these aliens? that we're seeing good, bad, ugly? Are they studying us? Are they planning to conquer us? Are they gonna release a virus? Uh, maybe an actual strain of COVID that will actually kill someone somewhere? Uh, because it didn't kill, didn't seem to kill anybody. Just seemed to make a big deal. So what are their intentions? Karmic relationship. Oh my goodness, I love it. Cornucopia. Hmm. Oh, devil. That's Now that's also the alien card, scapegoat. Hmm. Angel, we have the devil and the angel. We hope, hopes and fears. We hope they're nice. We sure do. Conflict. Interesting cards, rather accurate uh, on the face of them. Nine hearts, okay, the yes card. This is a key event. When the aliens reveal themselves, this will be a seminal uh, his, history-changing event. Absolutely. Okay, when, when the Spanish conquistadors landed in, in Mex Mexico, they, uh, they really radically changed everything. I think like 85% of the population died from like smallpox uh, or something like that because the diseases... Okay, and, and that's not necessarily malicious. The diseases that were present in Europe and spreading around among the European peoples were completely different. They were separated by continents. 
than the diseases uh, spreading around <clears throat> among among the Aztecs or whoever they were. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know my history that well of you know Mexico uh, and that landing, but you know that that is almost inevitable. Okay, and so the aliens are they they're described as having big eyes. Well, they're probably wearing space suits, okay, to protect themselves from our viruses because we have viruses that they don't have and they'll die. Uh, and likewise, if we're exposed to the stuff that they're all used to, uh, you know, in, in their environment, we may die in droves, okay? They have all kinds of crazy viruses that, that are interplanetary that we don't have, Um uh, and that's not malicious necessarily. That's just reality. They grew up in a different environment on a completely different planet with with different biologicals affecting them, and they're immune to a lot of these things. And they don't even they don't even get a cough, you know. And and it could wipe out a large part of our popul of the human population just being exposed to it. So anyway, I digress. What do we have here? Six hearts family. Family of all the people and everything, 16, 24, 22, 16, 22, six, so two sixes, two eights. Sixes are the relationship cards. Okay, sevens are the spiritual cards. Eights are the everything cards. So relationship to everything that is material on this earth. So uh, some, and I kind of am... I kind of am one of these people. Some people believe that uh, the earth was seeded by aliens. So they say we came from apes. <clears throat> so the aliens would have, uh, Enki, that guy Enki, uh, would have combined alien DNA with uh, ape DNA and cr created like the Cro-Magnon and, and those strains of humans and they they developed finally into us. And I don't think it was millions of years. I think it was thousands of years. I think it happened much faster than they say. But that's kind of what this is saying, that we're all related. They're related and we're all related and they planted us uh, very related to these aliens uh, it, it, in, in the crossroads. And we went a different direction and they are kind of our father's ruler. They're like our fathers. In the future, in the near future, is bad things. Devil, bad things. The devil always brings bad things. Okay, so anybody who looks at the devil card and says, oh no, that's a party, that's excess, that's drugs and sex and alcohol. Yes, it can be drugs, sex, and alcohol, but it's always bad things. The result of the devil cards is always bad. So there will be some negative consequences uh, even though they look like they're related to us and they may have planted us here on the earth, there will be negative consequences. Uh, and here in people and events, we have more negative consequences. So we have some bad cards here. Cross permanent family. I think they actually seeded us. I think we're a hybrid version of some of these aliens. Maybe not this particular strain of alien because I think there's multiple strains of aliens uh, on our earth. Scapegoat. Cast out, separate. Okay, so the devil here can be uh, an alien card and the scapegoat can be an other card from somewhere else. Angel, uh, we hope they're going to be good to us and that's they better be because if, if not, they can wipe us out because they came from other planets and I'm sure they have the power to really do some harm. Scourge. Uh, and they've been, they, they've just been, they've been studying us relentlessly scourge for, for a long, long time. But I think we're directly related to them, but some bad things will result. And it's probably, it could be just as simple as diseases. Okay. They're going to have diseases that we've never seen. And maybe they'll have, you know, the you know, bones, get the inoculation. Maybe they'll have the inoculation or maybe, you know, our strain of human, humanoid, is has developed so differently that 
their inoculation won't work for us. But they're definitely related, but there's some negatives, definitely some negatives uh, associated. So I don't think they intend harm, but definitely some harm will, will come of it. Let's look at this Vegas family and these aliens. What did they really see? Let's take a look at the family, these people who called 911, and the aliens. Let's just see, you know, what did they see? It crashed in their yard a few feet away. There's marks in the yard. I don't know if you've been to Vegas. It's just desert. Unless you, like, irrigate that sucker, it's just dirt. And it's really dry, and it just shows uh, footsteps really well, and... It's just like a flat a plain of desert, uh, which nothing wrong with that. Uh, so let's look at this Vegas family and the aliens. What did they see? The Vegas family and the aliens. Vegas, see what the cards want to tell us. Vegas family. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Honest woman. And the aliens. What did they see? Fox. Oh, okay. So what are we going to see here? So, okay, close emotional relationship. We have a couple of emotion cards. 12 and 12, 24, 6 spades. These spades are hard to, uh, because the spades are hard to interpret because they can be malicious or they can just be like really alien, like totally not us. Okay, and here we're getting six spades. Incubus, succubus, selfish, clever, uh, cup overflowing, and lovers. They definitely want us to believe that they're benevolent. Okay, but they're, they're not being completely honest with us. Fox, and they may have selfish. They're going to gain. Okay, they're here... Everybody needs to win. They want to win. They want to gain from uh, Earth. But they want us to believe, okay, there's things that they want. They probably want natural resources. Uh, uh, maybe they, they really like our H2O. I mean, that might be super, I mean, 70% of our planet is water. They might be really into our H2O because... I've only seen UFOs once, and they were USOs, submerged objects. And I was in Cancun, and every night uh, that I was there, I was there for like a week, every night uh, I would see them rise out of the water. So they had like an underwater base, and then, then just fly off in crazy directions at, at unbelievable speeds that we can't do. And it was completely like... Uh, Gravity did not apply to them. Okay, gravity did not apply to them. And I've also heard that the USOs, those underwater, they can move at like light speed underwater. So even the water, somehow they're, they're not even letting the water affect their craft. So they probably have like, anyway. So they'll benefit. They want us to believe that they're very benevolent, but they will definitely benefit and they have some selfish motives. Uh, what did the people see? Woman, honest, honest woman. This is actually what happened. Okay. Woman is very situational. Female cards are more situational, more global, more situational. That is, honestly, that's exactly what, what was reported on the 911 call. And hopefully they let me play that, uh, is exactly what this dude saw. And he's just simply telling the truth. Six and 12, 18, Five diamonds, and and there's no there's no lying here from the guy who reported it. They want us to believe that they're very benevolent, but they have selfish motives certainly, and actions that will they will are going to do things that will not be good for us. Two spades, so they definitely want us to believe that they're here benevolently. Uh, so there's a story. Uh, I visited the the telescope, the radio, uh, the radio transmitter in in uh, Puerto Rico with my Puerto Rican girlfriend, and they sent. I don't know when this was. Right after they built it, they sent a message into space from that radio telescope, 
and it was encoded and, and all kinds of cool stuff. And then like a year and a half later, they got a message back in code and they decoded it. And basically the message said, beware of aliens uh, bearing false gifts. Beware of aliens fall bearing false gifts. And that's, so this is kind of what that's saying. They want us to believe they're very benevolent, but maybe they're not so benevolent. And some of the things they will do will harm us. I don't know how harmful. Let's look if they, see if they plan to come out of the shadows soon, because the, the government is actually finally stating after all these years that yes, UFOs are real. They're stopping their disinformation plan. So it kind of looks like they're planning to reveal this stuff. So are the aliens planning to come out of the shadows soon? Because I think we've been working, the governments have been snapping up their technology and reverse engineering it for years and years. So do they plan to come out of the shadows soon? Can you hear my dog barking? No. So I had to quiet my dog down. So do they plan to come out of the shadows soon? No. Uh, from outside, they're just going to keep doing what they're doing on an ongoing basis. Eight and seven, 15, four clubs. They're very busy, very active doing what they're doing. I'm not sure what they're doing. I'm sure they're gathering information, learning all about us, studying us, blah, 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 blah whatever they're doing. But no, they're not planning to come out of hiding soon. So personally, this is good. I think this is good because I would rather not be here when they come out because goodness knows what's going to happen. Uh, and it could be, it could be quite bad. So let's see, are there different types of aliens? Benevolent, and or malicious aliens. Hopefully the benevolent aliens who will be around who want to protect us and there'll be a big nuclear war over in our skies, you know, dog fighting it out with their aircraft and we'll be like, oh, you know, we're like cockroaches scattering on the ground, but at least someone's fighting for us, you know. Uh, so are there benevolent and or malicious aliens? Let's just see what the cards... Let's see if there's what different types we have. Benevolent and or, well, let's look at these ones. Are these, what are these? Are they benevolent or malicious? And do we have benevolent a aliens uh, that are on our side? So let's, are these benevolent or malicious? And do we have others that are benevolent? So these ones, benevolent or malicious? Uh, and do we have ones that are benevolent? Oh boy, that's not wonderful. Hmm. Let's read that. That's interesting. What do we have? These are interesting. I'm not sure. Okay, so six spades butterfly. Their selfish actions will completely transform everything. This can be death. This can be a death card or secrets card. Ruler and Trinity. Uh, they'll just, they will be able to take over. They will definitely be able to take over. They may kill a whole, there may be a lot of death that results and their selfishness, their actions will transform everything uh, and it will happen they will do this very suddenly okay it will happen very very quickly uh, when the when they come out into the open it will the transformation will occur very quickly so what are these aliens again we get the ten hearts and the seven hearts uh, and king of spades is a lawgiver card Okay, so, and it's very systematic and looking forward. Uh, 23, 30, and 8 diamonds, everything material. So, they will, these aliens that we just saw, 
okay, they will establish a whole new way of life. Uh, everything will change. Everything, everything, all of life will just change. Very suddenly, uh, very, and no one will be able to stop it. Everything, when these aliens re reveal themselves, they will just change everything. Okay, do we have benevolent a aliens out there? Uh, multiple kinds. Yes, some are, and there are many. So, yes, there are many different types of aliens, and some are and some aren't. And they're just... City is like a whole bunch. Okay, so there are benevolent aliens out there that care about us. Uh, you know, multiple. Crossroads is always two or more. Um, and, yeah, so there are. There are benevolent aliens out there. Probably those blonde-haired Nordics who look really just like us, they're probably benevolent. Uh, these ones, I, I can't tell if they're benevolent or not. Uh, I can't tell. So, <clears throat> let's just ask. Um, and they may just simply not be like us. I mean, some of the aliens are described as very uh, unemotional. And, you know, they just don't have emotions like us. Because the angels, angels, exalted and fallen, I, I can see them, I feel them, I dealt with them, I've met some of them, some really powerful ones. Uh, they don't have emotions like us. We're very hot. I'm 100 degrees right now, and so are you. Okay, I'm 98.6 degrees. We're hot. We're emotional. We're very hot. Okay, the angels... They're spirit beings. They're very cool. They feel cool. They have cool emotions. They're very intellectual, and their intellect moves very fast. We're very hot. They're very different than us, and that's not wrong or bad. Exalted angels are, are wonderful. They're a lot purer than you or I, and they stand in the presence of God. Okay, we're just different. So not being like us doesn't mean they're bad. So are these... Uh, are these ones, the ones that they saw, the 10-foot ones, are they benevolent or are they malicious? Or maybe they're just a mixed bag. Three spades on an ongoing basis. Oh, my gosh. All right, so hopefully, yeah, you can see that. So Scourge working really hard on an ongoing basis to destroy us, to... to Ten spades, everything that is, was, is now, will be destroyed. And this is kind of, this is a very negative card, ten spades. So I would say that the ones that they just saw are not kind to us. Okay, and we did see devil, we saw eight spades. Uh, they will do some harm to us. They want us to believe ten hearts and seven hearts that they're on our side, but they will destroy everything. They will destroy everything. So these are maybe not the best aliens that we want to see. Uh, and we want, you know, so you do need to be really careful. Just because they're aliens doesn't mean they're nice. You know, you know, everyone doesn't have the best intentions. So what are their intentions? Are they studying us? They're, you know, they're, they want us to believe that they're good. Uh, they, this Vegas family was absolutely honest in what they saw and what they reported to the police. Do they plan to come out of the shadows now? No, thank God. I, I'm not ready for it. I, you know, I, I just want to, you know, enjoy my retirement a little bit uh, before they come. So there are benevolent uh, uh, aliens out there, but not all of them are benevolent. And these particular ones, I don't think they're very benevolent. Uh, so... That's what I. That's how I see it. Uh, don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method, and I'll see you next time.